So let's talk about why compression and custom deformer IOs are important. What's an IO? Well, it stands for input and output. So in the re relationship of deformers, it's going to be basically how we send that data from Maya to something outside Maya, like storing it on disk, and how we bring it back in from the files on disk into our Maya scene and onto our objects. Now, you know, you might be asking, why don't you just save your Maya scene with the skin weights on there? And like many components of your rig, it's really important to separate as much as you can from the MB file. Uh, this makes migrating to other assets a lot easier. This makes backing up and versioning much easier. Uh, the biggest reason is that this substantially increases the um, resistance to corruptibility of your Maya file. There, there's just too much in the Maya file. You know, you have plugins, you have different Maya versions, you have reference edits. Sometimes you just have too much stuff in there that could damage, um, you know, something could just slightly damage the whole file and then your deformers are non-readable. And so it's very important to have a quick and efficient way to load and save your deformers on your rig. So we're going to be talking about um, three different ways uh, to export out the skin cluster. And it's it's essentially, there is the Maya, the, the native Maya way, which is based on uh, UV images. Um, well, you, the, you know, UV space images, you have one image per joint, um, and you, or you could export out the skin cluster node. Many studios use a IO for, you know, multiple components of the rig. Um, you know, the most common is creating a skin cluster, you know, like one of the most popular uh, tutor tutorials online is how to write a, you know, a generic skin cluster IO. And, um, you know, we're going to take that step way further than what's presented in that tutorial um, to a extremely optimized and efficient standpoint, but the concepts are still there. You know, the need for the need for having it is still um, very much present. Uh, and you know, there's so many studios out there that have a generic way of um, saving uh, skin weights, which is just exporting it out into a JSON file, which is um, you know, it's, it's, it's human readable. It's whatever you, it's edible if you really want to edit it. Um, but the reason why, uh, you know, we don't want to go that route is because it's very large and very slow to do. And that's why compression is so important. You know, not only do you want something very fast, but you also want something very small in size because uh, that allows you for more versioning and that allows you for less need for larger data sets on disk. So not only are we going to learn how to write an efficient deformer IO, but we're also going to learn how to write one that is extremely fast and also re relies heavily on compression to give you the smallest file size possible. So in the next video, we're going to talk about the native Maya way to export out um, skin clusters. We'll give an example and uh, we'll see why we want to um, really stray away from that case. Uh, and you know, then we'll keep moving with the other examples.